what's up what's up what's up what's up welcome to another video of shakima at home and today i'm feeling so excited can you believe it's already the first sunday in 2021 yes we just did a facebook live and i say you know what let me jump on here and just make um my youtube dish at the same time you know use one stone and kill one bird yes so let's get started so for my facebook live i did um coconut shrimp so i'm just going to show you guys how i make my delicious coconut shrimp yeah okay so these are my shrimp so i already peel them devein them you see take out you know all the little thing that inside the the bottom of the shrimp yes peel them devein them i wash them in some lemon or lime with vinegar but i don't leave them to soak inside the water as soon as i dip them i take them back out in seconds so you can do that because you know if you leave the shrimp inside that vinegar and that lemon water it can start the acid from the the vinegar and from the lemon or the lime can cook the shrimp immediately and you don't want that right so here i have a napkin so what i'm going to do i'm just going to dry my shrimp pat them dry yeah like that make sure they dry and what I'm going to do now I'm going to take some of my favorite complete season and I'm just going to put it all over my shrimp and I'm going to take some Maggi all-purpose and I'm just going to put some about you know eyeball it a teaspoon on top of your shrimp get yourself some cayenne pepper because you know you want a little int a little kick inside your shrimp and you're just going to take your hands and you're going to massage it in after you massage the season inside your shrimp you can leave this inside the fridge for 15 minutes 20 minutes one hour how long you want it but you know I'm going to cook them right now because you know when you eat a dish and you want to eat it again and you want to to enjoy more because my daughter eat all the Facebook live ones so we're going to do this again for me now so I go like so like that place my shrimp over there let me wash my hand So right here, we have some coconut flakes. I'm using the unsweetened one today. I'm using this one. If you want, guys, you can go ahead and buy the one that's in the blue package that is sweetened already. But this one is very good. So I will suggest you do this one. I have two eggs inside this that I already beat. And inside this, I have some flour. That's it in the in the coconut flakes i had me a little bit of breadcrumbs i just put it like so you know a little bit in it and mix that up massage that incorporate it inside it and just like that this was my vegetable oil that leave back from the shrimp i did for my facebook live so what i did i get a strainer and i strained off the coconut shell from it and now i'm going to use but the same oil and i'm going to add it to my pot the same oil i just strain it like that nothing waste right now i come back over here and what i'm going to do i'm going to take my shrimp i'm going to dip it in my flour you know coat it coat that baby just like that shake it off shake off all the excess flour from it dip it in your egg mixture and this is just egg alone guys beaten from your head to your coconut and your breadcrumbs take your hands take the coconut flakes like that and you're going to just press it in just like that in your shrimp on your shrimp 
you know coat it this is so delicious guys so delicious and you just repeat the same process repeat it come over there do it like so whichever way you feel comfortable if you feel like putting on a gloves go ahead go ahead put on your gloves because not everybody like to feel the season or the meat or the shrimp or anything you're using on your hand or the flour so if you feel like putting on a gloves go ahead do that So okay guys we're finished to put all our coconut flakes on top of our shrimp so what we're going to do now we're going to just add it to the oil make sure your fire is at low temperature medium or low because you don't want these baby to burn you want them to come out crispy and nice and delicious enjoyable yeah you should smell this you should smell the scent coming from the spot do you have smell vision huh imagine it guys just imagine shrimp in coconut and what i'm going to do i'm going to grab myself my spatula at the same time because i'm going to flip it right away you see that I don't leave it for long I flip it see that guys you see that yes that's how we roll for 2021 inside of Shakima at home kitchen and we're going to leave them fry up meanwhile these shrimp coconut shrimp frying up we're going to come over to the other side and we're going to make the most delicious, delicious sauce to go with this. So let me clear here. I'm going I'm using some sweet chili sauce with some apricot two ingredients two ingredients that's all you need for these shrimp so what I'm going to do I'm going to use equal parts but I'm going to eyeball it if you want you can use a measuring cup the same amount of sweet chili sauce the same amount of apricot but I'm just eyeballing it because I'm at home right so like that you just pour it in like that open your drawer take it out you know like that let me put a little bit more inside it whenever time you get in the upper cart please get the one that is already you see you don't have no form of plumps inside it nor nothing it's smooth you understand if you get the one with the the upper cart inside it then it's going to unbug you when you dip in it and you don't want that so what you did i do now i just mix it up mix it around mix it around incorporate everything together everything together just incorporate it you see look at that you see how lovely this look two ingredients where can you go wrong with that the sweetness from the chili sauce the little bit of pepper flakes inside it the sweetness from the apple cart yeah very good shakima very good so now i'm going back over to my shrimp and i'm going to flip them again you know flip them up oh, turn the shrimp around yes lord you ever get some food and it make you sing yes this is my song 
flip them up, turn them around. Jesus, you see that, guys? Just look at that. Look at that. Look how these baby just bubbling away like that. You know, they frying up. Lovely. Yeah, so give this about three more seconds and it's finished. Three more seconds and I'm going to plate it up and show you guys how we eat this shrimp. My mouth draining, you know, Kissy. You know, you know when your mouth draining? Ha. Yes, my sweetie. what I did so what I did I just to get myself a napkin and I'm just going to take the shrimp from the pot place it on the napkin if you have a wire rack at home you can put it place it on top of the wire rack so the oil can drain from the shrimp because you don't want to oil the shrimp right and that's it so I'm bringing it over to this side like that. I can still hear it sizzling on top of the plate. It's hot. So sometimes I like to go like this. Just use a napkin, put it over it, like so, you know, like that. And now I'm just going to take it from the napkin and I'm going to plate it up on my plate. So what we're going to do, I have a half of a lemon here or lime. You just take it once you take out the shrimp from the oil and it's hot, you're going to squeeze, squeeze all that lemon juice on top of your shrimp. You know, once it's hot, it's going to absorb all the, the acid of the lemon inside the shrimp and give it a more bursting flavor. And I'm just going to take my sauce like this. You can either plate it. No, I don't. I'm not going to plate it there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in the middle like so. Wow. Then I'm going to take my apple cart and chili sauce that I've made. And I'm just going to put it like that. You know? You should smell it. You should smell the apple cart mix with the ch chili sauce and the lemon. You should just smell that flavor coming from this dish. My oh my. Food is a good mood. Just like that. And then what you can do, you can just take the rest of your lime or lemon whichever one you you have home you use what you have home guys and you use what you love you just place it there place it there and there you go my coconut shrimp with apricot and chili sauce how delicious that is look at that and now for the taste test for the taste test guys for the taste test i'm waiting i'm dying look at this guys i didn't even show you this i place this here look at this you take a shrimp like so you place it inside you place it inside your sauce Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And then you just take your shrimp like that. It's hot. Mmm. 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 
You can taste the coconut, the lemon, the chili sauce, the apricot, the cayenne pepper, the kick, the coconut flakes. Hmm. You can taste every single ingredient inside this it just dancing in your mouth with flavors you ever go flavor city mm. it's dancing in your mouth flavors upon flavors layer you take a bite it's just layers of flavors flavor mm. Mm. Hmm. listen guys try this recipe leave a comment in the comment section tell me if you like it tell a friend about it and trust me don't use the sweet the sweet coconut flakes you don't need the sweet coconut flakes this is the right because the sweetness of the upper cut and the chili it's really really good remember to like this video to share this video to tell a friend about us at Shakima at home and remember to put God first in everything you do. Yeah, we're out. See you in the next video. Check out our other videos. We have more videos, so check out and turn on your post notification so you'll be the first to see our new videos when they're out. Bye, guys.